Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix, and this is the top 10 true combos in Brawlhalla. Let's get right into this. Let's start with number one. The first true combo on this list is Sword Downlight Downer. So this combo is used for damage buildup and lower health on Sword and can lead to a ton of strings. How you input this is you gotta hold Downlight and then you hold diagonally down and then press Downer. It's like this. And notice how I'm holding it diagonally downwards instead of going vertically because vertically it takes too long to get over your opponent. If you hold diagonally, then you get to the, that like sweet spot in terms of movement a lot quicker. And the reason why this combo is so good is because at almost all health, it sets up in a place where you can get a follow up. If you're at 100 health, you can go for... Uh, like a, a, a GCN light if it's like 110 or whatever. You can go for like different things depending on how you like hit it. Um, some of them are more awkward than others. Kind of just depends on spacing. Like you could like reverse side or sometimes. Or you can like try and go for like a reaction and hit like another D light. Uh, you can always go for like GC side light if you actually have your dodge. There's a lot of options to continue it. I wouldn't recommend necessarily overextending every single time. But it puts you in a position where you're in advantage state you your opponent feels pressured that they have to dodge or they have to do something and once they waste that movement option you're in a perfect position on sword where you can hit them from like all ranges and that's the real reason why this combo is one of the best in the game so if you're a sword player learn it it's really good but let's get right into the next combo the second combo on this list is lance sidelight downer so let me pull up a lance real quick Okay, yes, yeah, so the second combo on this list is Lance Side Light Downer. This combo is pretty similar to Sword Down Light Downer, but it's a bit easier to input. All you do is you side light, then you hold down immediately, and you press down, jump and downer. Uh, if you press jump and downer together at the same time, it will do an instant jump downer. And that's how you hit this combo. That's how you hit this combo true more consistently. Um, however, this combo is true at all healths. But if you want to hit this at later healths, you have to do something a little weird. If you do an instant down air, then it won't necessarily work because of how side light picks up. So if you kind of see this, I'm whiffing, right? So if you want to hit this true at all health, you side light, wait at like a frame or two, and then you down air. Um, it kind of takes a little bit to get a feel for it. I was practicing more. I wouldn't recommend necessarily getting a feel for hitting this in later health because it isn't actually optimal in later health. But it is an option, as you can see here. It works at all health, but more consistently, just hold that down and just side light, hold down, jump down there. So you go side light, you hold down, and then jump down there. Which you can kind of see my inputs on screen right now. The reason why this combo is so key is because, just like sword, it builds up into damage, but also continues into strings. So side light down there is one dodge frame into end light, and also one dodge frame into down light. Uh, the downlight is a bit less useless instead of end light. I prefer end light in this situation, but I don't go for either of them. Um, often what I'll do is I'll jump down there the opposite direction. And the reason for this is because I'm in a state where there's something in Brawlhalla called tempo. Tempo is basically when your opponent thinks that they can punish you, but they really can't. So when I go for this downer like this, I've got so much horizontal velocity and not a lot of recovery frames. It's basically a baiting move. I want my opponent to miss, and then I'm in a good position to hit them with a side light or an end light or a cider and, and continue that punish. Lance is like all about baiting horizontally. And using like jump downer can also catch dodge reads in, and it's a very safe option. You can also jump downer the opposite way. Um, but yeah, um, you also, again, end light, D light. You can even side light at four dodge frames like that. Three dodge frames on higher decks, my bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really good option, and side light downer does so much damage. Downer is like 20 damage or something, like that's 16. If you hit the whole one, it's 18 damage. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, anyways, that's the second best combo. The third best true combo is Blaster's Downlight Recovery. There's not that many consistent true combo killers that also kill, like, early health. As you can kind of see, I'm, I'm missing this input. It doesn't work in white. However, this true combo 
I don't know if this is a million percent true, but it kills earlier than almost any true combo in the game. Obviously, there's some sig true combos, but for a light attack true combo, I, I count recovery almost like a light attack because every uh, Blasters Legend has the same recovery. But to be able to get something like this at like earlier health, you can kill people on maps like Enigma in like yellow health. Like it's a ridiculous combo and it's very rewarding and it's a bit difficult to input. But again, it's a true combo that kills extremely early and is little to no risk. Like the risk of a downlight is so much better than like down sig or some of these other sigs. Downlight is a very easy move to hit on blasters. And the fact that you can get so much reward out of it is really good. So, I'm actually just talking so much. It's kind of hard to focus when I'm talking, uh, especially on, like, tighter inputs. So, how you want to input this true is... So, how, yeah, how you want to do this is you downlight, and then after the downlight, you're going to want to hold down and then do a dash jump, and then dash jump into the recovery. So, you kind of have to, like, flick your joystick a little bit. Uh, if you hold it down for too long, see I'm ground pounding. But if you do it just right, you can kind of like see the input. This input might be easier on keyboard. Um, but yeah, it's basically down light and then you dash jump. And then right when you dash jump, see I like let go of my joystick. You let go and then slide your hand from jump to recovery. So it's like down light, dash jump, recovery. That's, that's the input. Down light, dash jump, recovery. Uh, it's, it's a bit more of a specific input compared to the other two, but it, again, it's a really good combo that kills really early. Works in later health, but it works consistently at later health, as long as you don't screw up the input. Um, this, this input's a, a lot harder compared to the other two, it's much easier to screw up. But, with enough practice, you can get this consistently. I'm getting consistently one dodge trade, there we go. I'm not a blaster player, blasters is one of my worst weapons, but even I can get this true like 50% plus, so. The fourth combo on this list is Hammer Downlight Cider. This is a much easier combo that kind of has a very similar effect. You can kind of see how far this already reaches. This is a kill combo that works almost at all health, it doesn't work in early health, but this is a great option, especially in twos, to get your like opponent off stage and then you can go for a 2v1 so how you want to do this is you input down light and then right after down light on the same frame hold sideways jump and attack all at the same time so down light side jump attack uh so it's down light and then the three inputs at once you can kind of see my controller on the screen but um yeah basically on controller what i do is i press jump and attack at the exact same time um, I just put my thumb over both buttons. So, uh, yeah, that's how you do the input. Um, it's a consistent kill option on hammer. The only time it doesn't work, and this is like the what if situation, is if you pick up a D light stacked, then it still sometimes works. But because of how Cider picks up, sometimes it doesn't. So I wouldn't recommend, like, if you're stacked, maybe, like, take notice of it and don't go for it. Um, but it, it's still super consistent. It's the only, like, situation where you're, like, really close to stacked. Um, and when you're in this situation, all you gotta do is down air, or do like a reverse down air, and, and that will do a very similar effect. The reason I chose this combo over down air is because this combo kills, I think, earlier more consistently, because you can hit this like close to the side of stages, it kills ridiculously uh, fast, especially on maps with like shorter ceiling, or shorter walls, but like taller ceilings. Um, but yeah, th this map down there is probably better because it has a low ceiling. But on maps like Demon, Cider is probably better. It, re it really depends. Okay, so the next combo on this list is Katara's Side Light Down Light. Uh, the only disclaimer I'm going to put is you need at least 5 dexterity for this combo to work. Um, so that automatically makes the combo a bit worse in some regards, but I'll show you why this combo is so good. Uh, the reason why this combo is so good is just because of how consistent it is and how easy the input is and what it leads into. So what you want to do is you want to side light and then after your side light, it's like a dash down light. Uh, you can just side light D light uh, depending on the input in like really early health. But what I would do is always dash D light. So it's side light and then dash D light. You can kind of see the input if I break it down here. You go side light and then you'll see my dash. That's my dash right there. See so one, two, and D light. The dash and then D light is like instant. It's like a you, you need to hit it. It's like a one frame input probably. Yeah, so the combo side light D light. And the reason why this is so good is because D light sets up a Katari's player in a really good spot where you can keep stringing them. 
So you could do a D-Light and then instantly fast fall. And you're in a position where, like, if they dodge in any direction, you can react to it because of how Katars are built. So if I set the bot to, let's say, dodge randomly, okay? I'll side light D-Light. He dodges up. I go for a Nair recovery. I, I do a side light D-Light. He dodges up. Okay, kind of went down there. The only thing the Katars doesn't cover that well is dodges up that you need to read a bit more. Just like that, you can still read them with another D-Light. See what I just did there? The point is, if they dodge anywhere horizontal or down, you're in a perfect space to, like, react. And even up sometimes. So, practice your Katar's reactions. Let people dodge. And then you can, like, literally... I'm, I'm not that great at Katar's. But if you can notice it in the moment and you get better at your inputs, then you can kind of just see how they dodge. And then you're in a state where you can kind of string them for a lot. But yeah, no, Katar's side light, D light. Doesn't do a crap ton of damage, but it just sets up in a position where Katar's players can do a lot of damage and have a really nice advantage state, is all. And it's consistent. So the sixth true combo on this list is Orb, Side Light, Down Light. So last time I did this, I did Orb, Side Light, Sider, which is a great combo as well. But a really underrated combo that I think I probably should have prioritized over is Side Light, Down Light on Orb. This combo is insanely easy to input. I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally side light down light side light down light as long as you get the timing right because i'm bad you have to it's like a do 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 kind of tempo um so you just need to get the timing right but it's a very easy combo to learn and the reason why this combo is so good is it sets you up in a really good advantage state on orb like i don't know if you can tell right there but you can catch dodge reads and then you also have tight string follow-ups afterwards so if i set the bot to stop dodging what you can do is extend it with like a nair sair and then get like a downer and whatnot if they don't have a dodge and there's a lot of options i'm not too familiar with them but you can like chase dodge a lot so if i did like side light down there and there like chase dodge up stair, i believe you can like reduce the amount of uh recovery for or, uh dodge window or whatever i don't know there's a lot of like little niche combos on orb that you kind of use with like chase dodges like if you see that you can like side light neutral air or whatever so what i'm trying to say is side light d light it sets up in a really good spot for good damage buildup. it can also lead to kill confirms and if you they if your opponent doesn't have a dodge it's a really good like punishing option there's a lot of strings that you can get out of it it's just a really good option in general but um yeah so side light down light it's a really good combo for damage buildup. It can lead to kill options. It's very easy to input. It does a good amount of damage for what it is. But yeah, for all those reasons, it is one of the best true combos in the game. And it's underrated on Orb. It's Orb probably best damage build up tool. And I definitely recommend using it. It's a really good option. It's pretty similar to like side light neutral air on Lance, which we'll be talking about later maybe. The next combo on this list is cannon down light down air. Uh, last time I did this list, I did cannon down light neutral air, which is a good combo. It works at later health. It's a good kill option. But the reason I chose down light down air instead is because it's more consistent to land in your game. And it also leads to a ton of damage buildup, similar to a lot of these other combos I put on the list. So how you input this is you go down light and then you just jump down there. Uh, it, you can literally hold down the entire time. I don't know if you can see my joystick, but I'm just holding down the entire time. And it sets you up in a really good advantage state. So you have options like side light after it, and end light after it. Uh, you can even use signatures after it on certain kits. Um, like if I'm on, you know, I could side sig on Onyx. Um, but yeah, it, it sets up to, in a really good space for cannon because cannon is a very horizontal weapon and also has some vertical aspect, aspects to its game. However, even better, if you set the bot to actually have a random dodge reaction, you can catch a lot of dodge reactions very easily. See, he just dodged in there, and I tried to go for a side light. There we go, I hit the side light. Look at that punish, easy damage, and can lead to zero to death. Dodged in again, easy, easy. Let's do that again. Down light, down there, dodged in again. I said it's a random. He's dodging in like every time. But yeah, if you can react in time, you can get some really like key damage off it. The eighth combo on this list is Axe Sidelight Neutral Air. So this again, like all these other combos, are really high damage build up combos and put you in a really good spot 
So Axe Side Light Neutral Air is no different than the others. What you do is you Side Light and then you just jump Neutral Air. It works at all health. It's very consistent. The only time it doesn't work is when you pick up the Axe Side Light like close to stacked. Um, it can get more awkward. But most of the time you're not going to hit it close to stack. And you kind of just need to recognize it in the moment. Um, Axe Side Light Neutral Air. It puts you in a really good spot. But more specifically at later healths. If you don't hit the side light the right, like, if you don't hit it close to stack, like, you can't get a true combo. You side light neutral air, and then you're in a state where you get a ton of opportunity for tempo. Like, in this position right here, I can go for a jump fighter, and I know the options of unarmed can't punish me, right? And you can catch a lot of people just fast falling into you by going for, like, an instant jump fighter, like this. There we go. And if they don't, Let's say they go up and they avoid it. You can neutral air again or down air and then neutral air. If you neutral air below somebody and they don't have vertical options, it's extremely safe. So against Lance and whatnot, you can just be like down airing, neutral airing, staying vertical on Axe is a really good option. And side light neutral air just sets up for that really good advantage state really easy. Axe's advantage state is when it's directly above and below people and opponents. And it's really good horizontally. The only thing Axe doesn't have going for it is because of how slow it is. If you whiff, you're, you're going to get punished if you whiff on the ground. But in the air, you have a lot of high tempo options. And they're still ridiculous even after getting nerfed last patch. The second last combo is another Lance one because I'm a little biased. I got to include it. It's Side Light Neutral Air. Uh, very similar to all these other combos. It's high in damage buildup. Neutral Air does 18 damage on Scarlet ridiculous um but yeah this this combo sets lance up in a pretty good advantage state you can catch things like dodges down with downers after uh dodges in with downers you can even do like some risky like gc down sigs and whatnot if people dodge down you're in a pretty decent advantage state i would say side light downer is better and the reason why side light down air is better is because when you're on the ground it eliminates half your opponent's dodges there's like you can only touch the stage you can't go below it so side light down air might be better but the reason why side light neutral air also has its own quirks is because side light neutral air works in all health and it actually keeps you in a pretty similar x position if that makes sense so video games are measured in x and y pixels and um like horizontal and vertical like it's it's like a big graph almost and lance you want to stay horizontal but in twos for instance staying close to your teammate is really important but when you go for an option like side light downer see how far i have to move horizontally i take up so much stage and whatnot it's not as good but a move like side light neutral air you stay a lot more constant horizontally and it makes it easy to target swap so if i hit a side light neutral air i can turn around go for another side light neutral air and help my teammate out it's just a really good way of relieving pressure off your team or yeah yeah off your team and it also has its own follow-up and reads that you can get out of it and does some crazy amounts of damage it's a really good true combo it has its own personal use cases but it's definitely something essential for all lance players to learn and it's one of the best true combos in the game because it does so much damage and it's consistent at all health and the last best true combo in brawlhalla by the way this order isn't in any like specific order this top 10 these are all some of the best true combos in brawlhalla that you guys should learn but the last one on this list is gauntlets downlight side light and the reason why this combo is also on this list is because it is the most consistent combo in the game Every gauntlet player uses it. It's a bread and butter free option. It works at all health. Like, this Ragnar's at 700 health. And this is, like, both these attacks have fixed force. It's ridiculous. And it can lead into damage buildup or kill options depending on the dodges used. Learning dodge reactions out of side light is really key on gauntlets. I see it a lot happen to me. I need to be very careful where I dodge. If you dodge down or horizontally after this, like you can just hit another GC side light and then it goes into recovery, right? Um, obviously, it depends on where your opponent's dodging. So again, dodge reads is pretty important. But you can kind of see the fact that this can lead to damage buildup or a kill confirm with the recovery. And this recovery is one of the best recoveries in the game. 
Um, it, it makes this combo so good. And the fact that it works at all health consistent, and if you land down light, you can always land side light. I don't think I've like ever seen this drop. It's ridiculous. It's such an easy input. It's just down light, side light. Or down light and light as well. But <laughs> down light, side light. You just hold down, hold horizontally. Down light, side light. It's it's so easy to learn. Um, if you're new to Brawlhalla, this is one of the first combos I would recommend you to learn because of how easy this is. Um, yeah, this combo is one of the best in the game. I told you my reasons. That's how you input it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and let's get into the outro. Hey guys, just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to check out more videos just like this one, click on the screen now. I don't know what's on the screen right now. I'm working on an end card. But yeah, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know which true combos from this video you use in your gameplay and which ones you think are better than others. Also, let me know if you want to see some video ideas. Join the Discord, link is down below, and uh, check out coslix.com. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.